Okay, I just wanted to go over real quickly the trades that I did the other day. Um, uh, I can already feel like the energy sucked out of me looking at some of this stuff. Like, I go short here, which is the right move. We come up, we're way extended. You know, you have here, yeah, there's the beginning. One, two, three, absolutely. You start flattening out. It's unable to make a new high up there. It could easily come back here. It does, but what in the world is going on with my trade management here? It must have, I got in here, but I get stopped out here. That doesn't make any sense. So the, the stop strategy should have been, I have a stop up here and then I entered, so I entered here, right here, and it should have been at least to the midline. And then if I have the ability to hold it to here, but I was probably thinking it's going up, so a short is not the right answer. And you can see how down here I actually, <clears throat> I was a bit excited here and a little bit early on getting in because I buy on this candle, I buy on that candle, I buy on this candle, and I'm looking at least to get out at the midline. So I do like a, just a kind of a janky job getting up there. My target should have been this midline. The price eventually goes up to there. My stop should have been down here. Even if I buy all three of these and build a little position, I don't really consider this averaging in because this is this is a valid entry, this is a valid entry, and the bottom of this candle is a valid entry. Uh, once we go back in, I wouldn't enter anymore. But the target should have been up here. An appropriate exit would have been here. But it's possible this candle just fell right back after going up. Um, so this is like... The main issue here is just the trade management. Like when I entered this, I should have just waited. It was super extended. You're at the end of a move, an exhaustive move. You know, you're, there's a really good chance that this is gonna go back down um, because there's no strength that brought it up. There's strength here and it doesn't come back down. I may still have taken this, but I would have had to have stopped out or timed out on the trade. So you can see here, these points are where my stops should be. Stop here. Stop here. I didn't know that for this. My stop would have been here. I get stopped out on the one, but then I just re-enter on this one as close to the bottom as I can get and then go up to the midline. That's plenty of points when these candles are big enough. Um, and then here, this is just bad. So what I was trying to do was get in on this um, this whole thing right here. You can see this kind of zone area that's formed here. I was trying to buy in this zone and then empty out up here. So, you know, I was, because of the, the way this was going all day, it goes way up and we dip way down into this strength and to this area here that does not give in to selling pressure. I wanted to go more aggressively on this trade and build a larger position. And, and this is actually pretty good. So uh, my entry could use some work, but my stop would have had to have been really wide for this, unfortunately. So the way that this, it, it would have to be almost down here because that's where the zone, see this right here, you, you, when you're doing a play like this, it has to go like below the lowest low, maybe even below here. Um, but I should have allowed myself to be stopped out here. Oh, I entered really soon, that's why. I should have been stopped out here on this candle, or this candle. And then this isn't, this isn't even really a good entry. It's not a, a pin bar. This bar here, it's got one, two, the entry, this last entry is really great actually. And then just target the midline. But these candles up here, they're not pin bars. You know, this is a fairly full bodied bar that continues, it has follow through. These, these big bodied bars, 
And so, but this exit was great. So this was very kind of sloppy, but this was very meh. But the way that I exited here is how I want to do these trades. Um, do I have any other? Oh, here. And so this, oh my gosh, this was some awful trading from yesterday. It still kind of makes me groan, but I was trying to do like an FOMC trade. I was okay with this. This is just poor trade management, but I was happy with this trade. But what happened here, this is just straight averaging down. This range is huge. I see this pin bar, it does go up a tiny bit, but I should have let myself get stopped out. So the range here is almost 20 points. That's insane to average into. This is averaging down and I just barely managed to get out. I figured that what I was doing was, I, what I was trying to do was wait for the bottom of this and I, I should have just joined this tiny flag that forms here. I should have shorted that. But what I was trying to do was buy somewhere here to join the bounce when it hits um, some kind of bottom or, or whatever. You know, it fills this gap and starts hitting this stuff over here and then gets one good bounce. And then I ride this up. And if we don't make it up here, I would, on this on these sides of bars, I would definitely drag my stop up. But this was me averaging down. Um, and then I believe I just walked away for this. This is kind of depressing. This whole trade, if you were to circle all the candles that look like this trade, that's what that looks like, which is a pretty sloppy trade. It's not that's how I blew up last time. So it's not a super great trade. And then you circle all the candles in this trade, a little sloppy. Circle the candles. This one's fine. I got out for whatever reason. It's fine. Circle these candles. That's a good trade right there. These are both good trades. The way that I got out early here, but it's fine. Um, this trade, the entry was a little weird because of this candle. I didn't know it was going to go down here, obviously. Probably didn't have a stop, but it went back up, so cool. And then I want to go to today's trade. <clears throat> oh, right here. This is great. Come here. I bought the... What I was looking at was all of this. You see this, this green here? that buying strength boom and then we top out here and I'm like you know there's a really good chance that this strength is not done but people are done selling at this level but somebody still wants to buy here so when we get overextended outside this Bollinger Band I enter here and I get out um, at my Oh, I must have gotten trailed out. I think I trailed out here is what happened, which is unfortunate because I missed out on a lot of stuff, but look how far this could have gone. So that is what it is. This, this, this lineup though is great. I need to keep my target. Just keep the target on that midline when I enter the candle. It's usually the best price point and, and 